people packed inside Valley View Mall, wishing they would be the one whose key opened the door to this new car. Going from football in Pulaski and then driving to Blacksburg to work is uh, kind of costly on gas. You know, this car is very good on gas and it really helped me there, save some money and stuff. Caleb Bishop was one of those hopeful students who stayed at his after prom hosted by his high school. We just got to have fun and hang out with our friends, not doing anything bad or unhealthy for us and I mean it was just a good time. Even though today's event is a celebration of those kids who made the decision not to drink and drive after prom, it's also a reminder from the nonprofit Roanoke Area Youth Substance Abuse Coalition that it's a serious issue. If the kids go out on their own and go to private parties, the likelihood of them drinking or trying some experimental drugs or smoking marijuana or something worse goes up exponentially. Dan Freeman is on Ray Sachs' board and is a trauma nurse at Carillion. We certainly see an increase in the younger, newer novice drivers coming in from car crashes. And unfortunately, a lot of times it is due to intoxication or some kind of related drug. But for those who didn't partake in those potentially dangerous activities, the nerves were starting to kick in as they tried and tried and tried until finally... Oh! Oh, we got one! Oh, Okay. Caleb was the first to get one of the three keys. It was just great. Then two more students snatched keys as well. It was time to see who would take home the grand prize. Ah. At first, Caleb didn't think he won. I'm used to like older cars and stuff, so when you turn a lot of those, the lock like pops up. And so when I turned this one, it didn't pop up. The second time around, he figured it out. I ended up having the right key, but I didn't know it. Caleb and his family are happy not only for his luck, but also for his decision to stay at the after prom, like so many others, and come home safe this prom season. In Roanoke, Sophia Borelli, WFXR News.